Well, it's a great question. Uh, the biggest and most important thing I can do is serve Hoosiers, right, and try to build better futures for them every single day. And that's what I've sought to do for the last four years, and it's what I expect to do in the next two years. Ultimately, this is about getting better outcomes for Americans, getting better outcomes for Hoosiers, and I want to make sure that we continue to do that. Building a better economy, securing our communities by backing our first responders, securing our country by backing our military, and securing our health by fighting against the coronavirus. These are all important aspects that I hear about every single day. And I fought hard to make sure we got to that great economy we were in in February. I'm going to fight just as hard, if not harder, to make sure that we get back to that great economy so that Hoosiers feel like they have control over their futures and they can live their American dream. Well, the good news is I've been doing it for the last four years, right? So ultimately, it's about making sure that I'm listening every single day, making sure I'm carrying Hoosier values up to Washington. Too many Americans across this great country feel like Washington isn't working for them. And my job is to make sure I change that right here in Indiana's 9th District. Make sure I'm listening every single day, holding today Zoom town halls, holding web access, making sure I'm going out and knocking doors, making sure I'm talking to Hoosiers on their front doorstep, calling them on the phone, ultimately to hear what they want to see done to make sure their priorities are reflected in the legislative agenda that I've set forth. And I think that that's really what we've done for the last three and a half years is listen and then act and then listen and then act. And I want to make sure we continue that process because I think that is our most Republican of ideals in ensuring that we are listening to the people across this great country. Easy. Number one, we've got to fight back against the coronavirus, right? Continue the development of vaccine, continue development of antivirals, continue to ensure that our senior citizens and other vulnerable populations are as safe as they can be during this challenging time. Number two, right, making sure we rebuild the world's greatest economy. In February, our unemployment rate was in the mid threes. Wage growth was in the upper 2%. I want to make sure we get back there so that every American feels like they have control over their financial future. And then number three, it continues to be securing our communities. I don't want to see the rioting, the looting, the vandalism that's going on across the river down in Louisville spread into the Hoosier state. I want to make sure we continue to support our police, we continue to support our military, we continue to support our first responders so that we will be a country and nation under laws. Well, look, there are a multitude of issues that face the state, face the country today, right? Making sure that we push back against the coronavirus, making sure we get unemployment down, making sure we continue to support our military against aggression that they see around the world, ensuring that we secure our elections so that the democratic process um, continues to be uh, important here in the country. I want to make sure we do all of these things. And I want to make sure that we continue to have our values as a country not only resound from sea to shining sea, but be a beacon of hope for those around the world. I want to see those things that we care most about reflected in Washington, and I'm going to continue to fight for that every single day.